I don't even know where to begin here, dude. Um, when WW2K24 first released, I was ex I was super excited for it. In fact, I I met a buddy on X, and I was so interested in the game that I would text him about it to make sure that it was worth buying. One of the, the that friend being show off steve og and he can back up this entire story okay texted him i was like hey i know that you got the game early is the game worth doing it i'm not going to ask you any questions about the game just in case it's stuff that you can't leak and i don't want you to get in trouble all right he confirmed it's a great game and so on and it is a solid game if we're not looking at all of the bugs in the game right they introduced the casket match they introduced the ambulance match they introduced what i believe is the best my rise in the 2k series so i'll give them their props there where i won't give them their props is taking away one of the one of if not the best content creators that the 2k series has to offer this guy goes out there and he can edit in-game models. Let's say Seth Rollins decided to shave his head and dye it orange, right? This guy is going to go in and he's going to go, oh, okay, 2K developers aren't going to go in this late into the air and update Seth Rollins' model. Bam. Uploads it to 2K, 24's community creations, much like he did with the tag totals. That motherfucker had that shit uploaded within an hour, hour and a half after they were revealed, and I don't know how that motherfucker does it. We are talking about the one and the only what's the status, of course. Him getting banned, all of his content being removed off of community creations, I think is complete bullshit. I don't think this would have been a huge thing if the community creations and viewers described discretion advice i don't think it would have been such a big deal if the community creations wasn't full of a bunch of pedophile dipshits that are uploading porn images for a game that is played by a bunch of eight to let's just use me as an age rate age range 24 i don't for me personally i can scroll through it i can block it out i know where to find it whatever but if my son hopped on a game and there's a bunch of porn pictures on a wwe video game i'm just gonna take that video game away from him i'm not gonna buy him the next game they're so worried about people like status and as of today prince marty m who uploads fantastic arenas um also had all of his content removed he's got to make a whole new account all of the stuff that he put time into staying up all night working his ass off is just gone it's it it could be gone you know what i mean it's definitely gone off of community creations i know that he had re-uploaded it he is making them so that us uk players are also able to re-upload it um but i think it's just like a whole lot of nonsense on 2k's end and uh, they did come out with a statement and i'll read it off here it comes from herb scribner i believe is how you pronounce it i could be mistaken and again don't go to x find this post and shoot the messenger man he's just giving us what 2k says right so coming from herb 2k confirmed to me that hashtag w2k24 creator what's the status has received an indefinite ban over terms of service violations fine fair if there wasn't porn on your community creations the player in question has received an indefinite ban due to violations of terms 2k said in a statement mods which negatively impact the game experience for other players violate our terms our primary concern is a positive okay 2k ww2k24 experience for all players then once again and i'll say it one more time if you are so concerned about in quotes your primary concern is to have a positive wwe 2k for 2k24 experience for all players then why the fuck is there porn on your community creations but you're worried about people like what's the status in marty m who are harmlessly making your game better harmlessly absolutely 
freaking stupid. And I know I'm using freaking now after I've said fucking 24 times already. But I'm wild up, dude. Let's talk about where 2K is even more in the wrong, right? Let's take it to NBA 2K23, where a shit ton of gamers, fans of the NBA 2K series, got banned, me being one of them, because I was an idiot and purchased MT. I would purchase MT for the reason of going into the player market, or they called it the auction house, my bad, and to purchase the exact card that I wanted to play with to add to my team rather than opening up 2k scam of packs right it's probably why you don't see a player market or an auction house in ww2k24 is my faction because they don't want people to go and find a way to buy mt and it's taking money away from their pockets fine it's a man eat man world and people want money in their own pockets if they can't make a penny off of what you're doing they don't want you to do it, and they're going to ban you. I'm not saying that's right. I'm not saying that's right at all. I know for sure some people paid $120 for the game just to get early access and get all of the DC DLC included. So it's like, let me play my game. Let me do as I please. As long as I'm not harming the community. And... I see a couple people and I'm not just shitting on their um, their comebacks. Let, let's take the three hair glitch, for example. It does crash the game, right? You can always uninstall it. I had to delete mine because it kept crashing my game and I didn't have the patience to keep going back in if I forgot to save it. Is that on what's the status? Absolutely not. I don't think that's on what's the status at all. It's my decision to download what he uploaded, what he found in the game. It was my decision to download it. I realized that it wasn't working for me, so I deleted it. Problem solved. My game doesn't crash anymore. My game doesn't crash and create a superstar. My game doesn't crash in game. It's fine. In fact, I've rarely had any issues with what's the status as uploads, with them being modded. Anyways, another topic that I want to go on is I see a lot of people blaming next makers, demanding next makers to leak Discord chats with some of the devs. And that's a good way to get some of your favorite content creators sued. That's just a stupid thing. I'll just blatantly say it. It's fucking stupid to demand something like that. Um, if if I was a next maker and I had a bunch of my subscribers telling me that I should leak the DMs to make sure that I was sticking up for what's the status, I would also probably tell you to fuck off. I don't want to get sued. I love you guys to death, but I surely don't want to get sued. At the end of the day, the only people to blame is 2K. Their game can be a lot of fun at times. Their game, like me, I, I look at a lot of Marty stuff and I'm like, damn, I can do some really cool stuff with that. He just came out with a baseball arena where you can throw a microphone and the person on home plate can hit it with a bat and then you can run your plates. Throw the microphone at, at the person. If it hits them, you're out. That's a cool game mode concept. I think it's very innovative and it's great for the game. It's great for the community. 2k doesn't give a fuck 2k sees that people are gonna enjoy that but they're not making a penny off of it so they're gonna get rid of it anyways i'm done rambling on i just wanted to come here and update you guys with all of the hashtag free status information with all of the hashtag free marty m movements it's just a shit show 2k should get their shit together worry about the bigger picture rather than the people that are trying to make their game better because I sure as fuck when it hits October, November, I'm like, yeah, I guess I'll play 2K instead of being like, yeah, I want to play 2K. More content creators that I haven't mentioned. I'm focusing on what's the status in Marty M because those are the only two that I've seen actually get their content removed. 
I'm going to leave their information in the description, links to their channels, links to their Twitter. You should definitely go and give them a follow. Absolutely great dudes. Same with Show Off Steve OG, and I consider him one of my one of my good friends now. Um, dude, talk to me when I had less than 800 subscribers, and he didn't have to do that. You didn't have to help me out. You didn't have to help me out through rough times, anything like that. But he did. He's a great dude. So just keep in mind, it's a rough time period for a lot of people. Instead of demanding things and taking it out on the wrong people, definitely speak up, but target it at the right people. Target it at 2K. If it wasn't on 2K, I'd tell you, like, it's not on 2K. I did some stupid things and whatever. But anyways, guys, I'm done rambling on. I'll see you guys later. Love you, bye. That was a sad one. Let me get you again.